Hi guys, my name is Raul and today I'm going to show you how to assemble your All-Star Airline board. The first thing you'll need to do is take your board out of your bag. You want to make sure that the area where you're going to assemble your board is clear of debris or anything sharp that could harm your board and is big enough for you to roll out your board completely. Before you inflate your board, it is really important that you check the position of the pin in the valve to make sure that it's on the up position so the air you pump into the board stays inside the board. This is the pin up and by pushing it, it is down. You want to make sure that it is up. We're going to start using the double action function of the pump, meaning it's going to pump on the upstroke and the downstroke, making the first steps of inflation really easy. For the airline boards, it's important to remember that you need to place the nose cone in front of the board. The nose cone will be assembled with the tiki standing upright, and you want to do this while the board still has less than 5 psi, but has a shape, so assembly is very easy. The airline loop is going to wrap around the nose cone into the hook and you want to make sure to assemble it in a position where it's tight. In this case, I'm going to put it on the third level of tension and I'm going to continue inflating now. Now I'm getting close to 8 psi and the upstroke is becoming more and more difficult. So it's time to switch from double action to single action by using this lever. Now I will only be pumping on the downstroke and up is going to be very easy. I'm going to continue this way until I have reached 18 psi. And that's it. We've made it to 18 psi. Remember, when I disconnect the hose, there will be a little release of air, which is completely normal. Make sure to close the valve before you go paddling to keep water and sand from getting into the valve. Another very important thing to do before you go paddling is to assemble your fin, otherwise your board is not going to track. So now my board is at 18 psi, my fin is assembled and the airline is under complete tension which can be shown by the fact that I cannot get my finger underneath. When you finish paddling, the first thing you want to do before you pack your board is rinse it. You want to remove the salt water and the sand so your board stays clean and lasts longer. This might sound obvious, but you might want to remove your fin before you deflate your board and you pack it away to make it smaller. To deflate the board, you just remove the cap from the valve. And it's important that you have rinsed your board, otherwise sand would fly out during deflation and just Press the pin down once and air will start coming out. Now that the pressure has been removed from the board, it will be very easy to remove the airline board from the hook and to remove the nose cone. This is a trick that a lot of people are not aware of, but our pumps have a deflation system that will help you remove all the air from the board, thus making it easier to pack the board in a smaller size. Just put the hose on deflate mode, and in the same way as you did to inflate the board, connect the hose to the board and start pumping. And now, as you can see, the board is completely flat. There is no air in it, and it will be very, very easy to fold and pack into the bag. Just start by the nose, and work your way towards the standing trace at the center of the board.
And now we're done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next time.